What's up everybody? My name is Luke with Ski Rack. We're here with our friends at Locomotion and Green Mountain Transit. And we want to give you some tips on how to ride your bike and interact with the buses around town in the safest manner. So one common scenario you might come across is when you're riding down the street following a bus and it wants to signal, pull over and pick up some passengers. Depending on the pace you're riding, it might be best to be really visible wave the bus in front of you that it's okay for it to pull over and wait for them to finish their pickup. The average bus stop only takes about eight seconds. So if you're not in a huge hurry, it might just be best for you. It might be safer to just stop with the bus, let them finish their stop and then carry on. This will also maybe avoid the leapfrog effect when the bus stops, you go around it, the bus passes you, you go around it, and it'll just be a safer ride for you and for the driver. Another scenario is you're riding along, you're going at a good pace, and you come across a bus that's already stopped. What do you do? Of course, you can always wait. Like we said, average stops about eight seconds. Or if you know it's safe and you wanna pass the bus, the biggest thing is to be so clear about what you're doing and signal so that the cars behind you know that you're gonna pull over to the left side of the lane so that the driver knows to not pull out in front of you. So always signal and safely pass the bus and carry on with your route. And a third scenario, which might seem a little intimidating, is when a bus wants to make a pass on you. If there is ever a bike lane as an option, take it. It's always gonna be the safest, most protected route. Uh, but let's say you're riding on a road that doesn't have a bike lane, or it might not even have a shoulder that's very wide but let's say there are two lanes, like on North Ave. The best option is for you to really take up and own the entire lane as a rider, because this is gonna avoid buses or cars or other motorists trying to make a pass around you, but in the same lane. This'll force them to move over into the passing lane, so they're gonna pass you in the safest manner. Now, one thing to really keep in mind, especially when buses are coming up to you, these things are really long and their engines are in the back of the bus. So the front of the bus can kind of be pretty quiet when it comes up to you. So GMT drivers will often, with appropriate distance coming up, they'll often give a little honk just as a heads up, a big quiet bus is coming at you and they're always going to make the safest pass. And one last tip, if you're ever riding around town by bike and you wanna take the bus, most buses are going to be outfitted with a bike rack. They're super easy to use. You just attach your bike to the front of the rack and be on your journey. And when you're getting off the bus, it's always a good idea to let your driver know you've got your bike on the front so you can get a little extra time to get that off safely. If you're unsure or a little uncomfortable to try this for the first time, head down to Locomotion. They have one of these bike racks that you can practice on. So if you're like me and you love to ride your bike around town or maybe you want to start riding your bike around town, you're probably gonna come across some of these situations. So it's always best to be informed, stay educated, and you can always come down to Ski Rack or Locomotion to learn more.